In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The white candle is lit. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's lovely to be here this evening and have the joy and the privilege of presiding at this Mass where we remember Jesus coming into the world, God Almighty coming to earth to save us all in the flesh of a newborn baby. What a beautiful story. And wherever you're watching this this evening, whether it's in here, welcome, or online, it's lovely to be able to share the good news of Jesus Christ's birth with you this evening. Now, as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, and we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord. And we say together, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that, as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please take a seat for this evening's readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as we joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and they bow across their shoulders. The rod of the oppressors you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors, 
and all the garments rolled in blood shall be born as well for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulder as he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a person of his own who are zealous for good deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please take a seat. I love Christmas time. It's my favourite time of the year. And 
I love receiving presents. I love getting the latest gadgets, some colourful socks from Marks and Spencers, and lots of nice cheeses, although you wouldn't guess that from the way I look. But I love receiving presents. I'm not very good at giving presents. I remember many years, well, I think it's getting on to 10 years ago, I saw a perfect present for my wife, Michelle. Beautiful watch. Beautiful watch. And I saw this on, online, and I thought, Michelle would love this watch. And I bought this watch, and I wrapped it the best I could. And the day came, Christmas Day, Christmas morning, and I was so excited, and I gave the watch in the box. And she opened it and said, Vince, you gave me this watch last year. So she had two watches, both identical. And I said, I guess you could wear one on each wrist. You know, how many people can say that? <laughs> But I'm not very good at giving presents all the time. I love receiving it. And uh, at Christmas, we remember the best present of them all, don't we? The baby Jesus. And there he is in his beautiful crib set down here. Please have a look on your way out. In a safe way, of course. And every time I think of the Christmas story, I'm just bowled over about how marvellous it is and how full of joy it fills me. Because it's the most beautiful story. The first thing I think is so wonderful about this story is the truth it tells us about humility. Humility. God, who is beyond all reckoning, he's so marvelous, so wonderful, so beyond anything we can conceive of in his glory and his majesty, in his power, in his love. Yet he comes 2,000 years ago to this forgotten place, the outskirts of the Roman Empire, and he is made flesh in this defenseless little baby. What a beautiful story that so much power and love is found in this defenceless, poor baby. Isn't it beautiful? I've been introducing Clara, my daughter, to some of the classic Christmas films. She's at an age now where I can show her, you know, some of the great Christmas films. You know, and the blockbusters. And we were watching um, Lord of the Rings. I don't know if you've ever seen, or even read the books, of course. <laughs> books on, you know, they're made into these blockbuster films. And I was watching it last night, and it just struck me again, because J.R.R. Tolkien, of course, is very religious. He's had a very strong faith. And the person who is in charge of destroying the ring and destroying evil it's just this humble hobbit. Unassuming, likes his food, and he smokes a pipe, likes a drink, lives in his little house. He's got no power, no influence, but it's him in the story, this little guy who has got the whole, who, who's able to destroy evil. And that's the Christmas story, isn't it? Something so small, so fragile, so precious, a little baby who is destined in, in his poverty, in the humility, to save us all. Brothers and sisters, remember tonight that this little baby, Jesus Christ, is with us and we can like the baby Jesus start following the path of humility and to great things we can in our own way our own humble way change the world 
by telling others that Jesus Christ lived among us, he died, he rose again, and that we can follow him into eternal life. Something so humble, small, fragile, defenceless, destined to save us all. Isn't that wonderful? What a beautiful story. And we're all invited into that story, brothers and sisters. We can follow him in our daily walk. So, this evening I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And it hasn't been a good year. Of course it hasn't, in many respects. But know this, brothers and sisters, God has not forgotten us. It wasn't an easy Christmas in the first Christmas. Bishop Sarah sent an email to clergy recently, and she said it wasn't easy the first Christmas. And it isn't easy this Christmas, but that wasn't an easy Christmas. But look at the glory and the salvation that came from that moment. And brothers and sisters, be humble enough to let God work in your hearts that we may work as his body to bring all into the loving arms of God the Father through his blessed Son, Jesus Christ, who was born as a humble baby 2,000 years ago. Amen. Please stand as we say the creed together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. He became incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now please sit as we bring our intercessions to our Heavenly Father by the power of the Spirit and through his Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we lift up to you the Church. May we communicate the joy of Christmas through who we are and what we say. May those around us be brought nearer to God. Lord, in your mercy. Your Father, we pray for the leaders of the church. We pray for wisdom, humility and love in their hearts. We pray for Pope Francis, the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, the leaders of the Protestant churches across the globe, and we pray 
for our own Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. We pray for Bishop Sarah. We pray for Bishop Rob in the Edmonton area. We pray for Father Taman as he leads us in this parish. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters across the globe. We pray that at this time they may be protected and be free to worship. We pray for an end to their suffering. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for those church-led charities which help people in need at this time of year. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for St George's Freezy Water. We pray that it might be a beacon of light, hope and love in this part of Enfield. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we lift up to you our neighbouring churches, St Peter and St Paul's, St James's, Jesus Church, Albany Church, Baptist Church, the Free Church. We pray that they be blessed this Christmas tide. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we lift up to you the world. We pray for an end to this terrible pandemic. We pray for those who are leading us in this difficult time, including our Queen and our government. We pray for our nurses and our doctors, our health professionals, our paramedics, We pray for those who've lost loved ones because of this. May they all know in their hearts that you are the God who is with us, Emmanuel. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for peace across the world. Your Son came to bring peace. We pray for an end to conflicts in the Middle East, in parts of Africa. We pray for peace between Iran and the rest of the world, between North Korea and the rest of the world, peace between China and the rest of the world. We pray for peace in every human heart. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for those people affected by natural disasters and we pray for those who are prone to flooding in this country at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for those who are ill in mind, body or spirit. We pray for anybody sitting here and watching via the internet. We pray for our friends and family. And in this parish, we remember particularly Heather Anderson, Pauline Staters, Susie Athenu, Lorna English, Sajit Tosun, Father Brian McMahon, Bob Wallace, the Constantinou family, Ian Francis, Aaron Deering, Baby Un Wu, Andrew Judith and Peter Thorndike, Luke Sheehan, Diana Jones, Angela Bell, Cindy Hart, Angela Fairclough, Catherine Pohl, Arthur James, Bill Bird, Ryan, John and Nora Thacker, Claudia Berner, Barbara Baker, Michael Shine, Anne Bland, Jim Wallace, Adi Asiwaju, Robert Gerson, Ruby Bensey. Lord, in your mercy. And Father, we pray for those recently departed. 
David Needham, Adrian White, Lisa Vishhusen, John Clark, Gillian Tier, Andy Hoyle, Patrick Mushington, and Maureen Pickworth. And Father, we pray for those whose anniversary of death have occurred today. Ernest Wade and George Ashell. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. Now, if you're able to, please stand for the peace. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Lord, wash me from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks, because in coming to dwell among us as man, he revealed the radiance of your glory and brought us out of darkness into your own marvellous light. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, 
these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, of the Apostles, of the Martyrs, of St. George and all the Saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one way. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
body of Christ. Let us pray. Eternal God, for whom we wait, you have fed us with the bread of eternal life. Keep us ever watchful that we may be ready to stand before the Son of Man, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work. To your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you, Father. Well, um, Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, have a you know, happy time wherever you are and uh, hopefully things aren't too disrupted for you, but I hope that you have a, a lovely time over this Christmas period and uh, have a happy new year as well if I don't see you. There is a, a mass tonight as well at um, 11, um, 11 p.m. and tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thank you, Father. If you're able to, please stand for the final blessing. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.